Hello, welcome to Friday Focus. Um, I'm actually recording this in the evening. Um, so I was going to say good evening, but of course you could be watching this in the morning or in the afternoon. So good all of those things. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So I've noticed a pattern with my clients and it's like you've heard me say before that it's our thoughts that create our feelings. And whilst we know that our thoughts create our feelings, or you're starting to learn this now if you follow me on my different platforms, that just because it's our thoughts that create our feelings, it doesn't always mean to say we want to create positivity. So, for example, if you wanted a job promotion and you don't get that job promotion, it's quite natural to feel disappointed. If you lose someone you love, you actually want to grieve, you want to feel sad at that loss. But what I notice so many of my clients doing is then they really judge themselves for having those negative thoughts. And I've noticed this in myself as well. I've done quite a lot of work recently, hearing what my brain has to tell me and then choosing not to believe it. So our brain it is designed to think. Our brain is designed to, is designed to, you know, have something like 60,000 plus thoughts a day. It's a machine that's designed to work. And unless we tell it what to focus on, it's going to come up with its own crap. And because it's back in the caveman days, it thinks everything's dangerous. It's usually negative crap that it comes up with. But just because your brain gives you a sentence doesn't mean to say you have to believe it. So... In my example, my primal brain, Sue, she likes to tell me, oh, this is never going to happen. People don't want to listen. Like, you're not clever enough. You, you're not going to figure this out. She, she tells me these sentences on the regular. And I used to think that that was true. I used to think that I wouldn't figure anything out. I used to think that I wasn't clever enough. I used to believe the thought that, um, you know, no one was gonna listen. But what I realized actually, <laughs> people do listen. And I actually quite like what I have to say. Um, I am quite clever, it turns out, in my own little way. And actually, there is nothing yet that I haven't figured out. So I'm just learning WordPress for my new website and I'm figuring it out, I'm teaching myself. So actually, that those sentences that my brain tries to tell me are lies. But I don't have to judge my brain or make that mean that um, that I'm, I'm broken or that there's something wrong with me or that I shouldn't be having those thoughts. It is completely normal for your brain to talk crappy thoughts at you. Most human brains do that. That is part of our experience. But what we don't have to do is believe them. You can literally listen to them like you would a friend to go, uh-huh, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Anything else you want to tell me? Thanks for the input, not listening. And you'll have, you'll know what your sentences are, right? You'll have that kind of dialogue in your head that your brain tells you. Um, you don't have to believe it. It doesn't actually mean there's anything wrong. And you get to decide, you get to choose, is that pattern of thinking going to help me or does it just make me feel shit? If it makes you feel shit, then let's try and change it. 
not because necessarily the situation, not necessarily because you want to be positive about a situation, but just because you're starting to realise that actually our brains like to talk bollocks to us. It likes to talk crappy crap thoughts. It likes to tell us a negative story. So if your brain's telling you a negative story, okay, brain, thank you for that, I hear you. But let's just look at the opposite for a minute. You know, you're, you're making this story up. Let's make up a story the opposite way. At least balance out. You get to decide which one's right, but at least balance it out with a little bit of, if, if your brain naturally goes down that negative route, well, let's just spend some time down a positive route and just see how that makes you feel. So just because your brain gives you sentences in your head doesn't mean to say that they're true. And it doesn't mean to say you have to believe them. And it doesn't mean that there is something wrong with you. The fact that you're listening to this, the fact that you are understanding what I'm saying, means that you have a human functioning brain, just like all the other humans in this world. And they are all designed to think and churn and make stuff up. So you would have a little bit of compassion for yourself, yeah? Like really, really just watch your brain with, with like a compassionate curiosity, not a judgmental, spiteful, oh, what are you saying now type of way, but in a, huh, look at what my brain's coming up with now. Isn't he or she interesting? <laughs> See how it goes. If you've got any questions, I'd love to answer them. So just get in touch either by DM or hop on my website, send me a message. And this totally relates to any of the uh, cravings that you may or may not have in your life. So I always bring it back to sugar. So when your brain tells you, I, I really want the sugar, what your brain's actually saying is it wants the dopamine hit. It doesn't realise that the negative effect later on is going to make you feel crap. It's a lie. You know, if you really need alcohol, that glass of wine to relax, it's not true. You can relax anyway. We're just not taught how. So I'm sorry if you can hear my dog snoring. <laughs> But um, she's relaxed and she hasn't had alcohol or sugar. <laughs> so um, have a lovely weekend and I'll speak to you all next week. Bye.